fact, in Hyderabad. Their second largest center in the world, outside of Basel, their headquarters, is actually in Hyderabad. They have 9,000 people working out of their Hyderabad facility. But the interesting thing is, out of these 9,000, only 400 work in the labs that we just saw. Only 400. The remaining 8,000 plus work on their computer screens, on computation, on simulation, on bioinformatics, modeling, different kinds of things. So the point I'm trying to make is, this intersection of technology and biology uh, is a brilliant opportunity for India, a brilliant opportunity for cities like Hyderabad, Bangalore, you know, which excel in biology and technology. And I would love to see how Europeans also can explore that possibility because we not only have Novartis, we have BMS, Bristol Myers Squibb, and we are also in discussion with a number of other pharmaceutical companies to launch their digital innovation platforms from Hyderabad. And I'd love to see how we can also help Eurofins, you know, possibly streamline some of your, uh, you know, technology solutions as well. Of course, this is an investment of 1,000 crores. Thank you uh, for infusing 1,000 crores into this facility. And I'm also told that this place will eventually have a potential to employ 2,000 people. And uh, I look forward to that day where you'll start, uh, you know, engaging, our, engaging with our youngsters, skilling, adding to our, uh, you know, skilling ecosystem, and employing more and more of the local guys here. Furthermore, it's noteworthy that this state-of-the-art facility will house, like I said, advanced capabilities in peptide chemistry, first for Eurofins, and Venus Discovery Services globally. Additionally, this facility will be Eurofins' first formulation R&D lab in India, encompassing oral solids, injectables, and some large molecule capabilities as well. In fact, just before this event, um, I've had uh, the pleasure of breaking ground for another injectable facility not very far from here. It's a company called Bharat Serum. They're also setting up an inject injectables facility uh, very close to where we are. Also, this facility will feature a GLP-grade pharmacology and toxicology lab, which will be unique to Eurofins globally. I'm pleased to note that this particular facility is well-equipped to support both large global and Indian pharmaceutical clients as well, as well as small biotech in various domains, small biotech companies in various domains, including synthetic organic chemistry, analytical R&D, bioanalytical services, in vivo pharmacology, safety toxicology, and formulation R&D. Just a week ago, I've had the pleasure of breaking ground for another pharma services organization in Genome Valley, and here, I'm, here I am again, inaugurating another global leader in this space. I think people in Genome Valley are tired of seeing me on a weekly basis, but I'm <laughs> While the company is already about 500 scientists in this cluster, um, they were planning to hire another 1,000 scientists. And uh, you know, I was very excited to learn, and this is the other company that I visited last week. I was very excited to note that about 90% of these scientists were from Telangana, which highlights the availability of an extraordinary, extraordinary talent pool in this region. I urge Eurofins also to leverage this, because I'd love to see how we can work closely with you. Shakti will, of course, have a you know, off-site, off offline discussion with you on this, and see how we can engage more with the local talent. Must empathize that Hyderabad is rapidly evolving as the epicenter for drug discovery and development services in Asia. And of course, I attribute this milestone to vibrant ecosystem of Genome Valley, which has become the catalyst for innovation and R&D in our brilliant country. In some ways, Genome Valley is now transformed into a comprehensive and fully integrated mega contract research organization of its own. Because we have the who's who of uh, the CRO ecosystem, all of them present here offers wide, offering wide spectrum of services spanning from synthesis and formulation to preclinical studies and testing. Truly delighted, Genome Valley stands as the unique cluster where you can arrive with nothing more than an idea or a concept and leverage its world-class facilities within the cluster to brainstorm, to implement and transform your concept into a global enterprise. In fact, come February next year, uh, 24 February, we would also be launching BHUB in Genome Valley which serves exactly this purpose, a biotech hub, which will, again, allow you to walk in any other scientists, any other youngsters with an idea, and walk out with a product, with a, with a synthesized solution, which could possibly change the world. On that inspiring note, I wish Eurofins all the very best for their ambitious plans in Genome Valley. I'm confident Hyderabad will continue to meet your strategic growth requirements, and I'm confident that you'll be signing checks, and I'll be taking more and more of those. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Thank you, thank you, sir. Some of the facts and figures you presented there were really indeed interesting. Uh, thank you for creating this platform for Eurofins and many more organizations like us. We hope to have your support as always. Uh, may I request Ms. Indiraj to please give away a small token of our appreciation, mementos to the dignitaries, the Honorable Minister. Mr. Shakti Nagapa. Ms. Rivi Narsimreddy. Thank you, Bhakti. Thank you so much. Thank you. I now request Dr. Rupati Atimanath. Please share his word of thanks. Very good morning. Sir, I am from Bangalore, but I have most of my professional life here. So I love Hyderabad. <laughs> <laughs> this is classic. Uh, Bangalore is thanking Hyderabad. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So I would like to thank you, Honorable Minister, for coming here and inaugurating our campus. Um, and also I would like to thank uh, uh, Mr. Shukti Nagap, uh, Nagap Dharu and uh, Nasim Dharu, and uh, also Ms. Pavani, uh, and also other invitees and guests for who have all made this function uh, uh, event possible. So I thank you again and request all of you to have a, a refreshment and also lunch with us. Thank you. Thank you.